Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. I know I did that in my Valentine's Day little haul thing when I showed you what I bought the wife, but uh, I was going to do it again because I'm really super excited. And why am I so excited? Because I'm actually getting ready right now to go meet up with Cincy, Josh, and Toy Bills, and we're actually going to go on a really cool hunt today because we're going to go to a store that we've never been to. So the store that we're going to go to is called House of Plastic, and we really don't know a whole lot about it, uh, other than I think that it's more of a vintage-style store, so I'm not expecting to see a whole lot of new stuff, uh, which is gonna be kind of cool because uh, I am looking for like the 89 returns Batman's and things like that so definitely gonna be looking out for that so hopefully this store has some really cool stuff and you'll get a lot of cool footage but we're also gonna hit up toy department afterwards and the reason we're going to toy department I know we always go there but it is their one year anniversary so they're doing like a sale they're doing a bunch of other little things uh, so we're gonna go check that out so hopefully we can get some good footage from both of these stores and like I said I'm super excited it's gonna be a fantastic day so probably the next time you will see me will be at House of Plastic <laughs> department for their one year anniversary everybody's doing their intros so I'm gonna shut up all right so this is their one year anniversary so what they're doing is anybody that comes into the store and I'm really sorry there are a ton of people in here so it's really hard to film but what they're doing is anybody that walks in uh, gets a ticket to for a chance to win this USSS flag for GI Joe so you can see the insane size that this thing is uh, yeah, I mean, it takes up this entire shelf. <laughs> this thing is crazy. All right, so normally I don't show you guys all the NECA stuff uh, all that thoroughly, so that's actually what I'm gonna do today. Uh, so here we got some, the uh, Rainbow Batman. It's that six pack, that looks pretty cool. Come down here to NECA we have, looks like uh, Bill and Ted, Wild Stylings, or Stallions. Uh, we also have the two pack of Superman and Muhammad Ali. We have some Home Alone figures. We got Marv. I think this is Kevin. I think this has been here for a little bit because I keep looking at this Kevin. So I wouldn't mind getting some Christmas figures. I don't know. Two Marvs. So they don't have a Kevin right now. Uh, okay. God of War Kratos. Aliens. Robocop. Robocop versus Terminator. Robocop. So that looks pretty cool. We got uh, Freddy. Leatherface, excuse me, sir. Got Pennywise from It. Another Leatherface. Friday 13th, 3D. Another Jason. Uh, we got, well, it's just like the Butcher from uh, Diablo, but Stitches from uh, Heroes of the Storm. Got some alien creature packs back there. Coming down, we have some uh, Pacific Rim figures, some kaijus. I do have. Clark from Christmas Vacation. Uh, this is the tree cutting down Jason version. Um, I am very interested in that. Uh, it's one of my all time favorite movies. They have two of them. It's eight miles away. Yeah, I may have to pick that up. Uh, I'm going to take a look, look around a little more, though. So we got some Pacific Rim, some Night for Christmas, Beetlejuice. I do have quite a few of the Ash vs. Evil Dead series figures. Uh, so I got two of the Demon Spawns and then an the Elegos. I think they had an Old Man or the Save Mart or Value Mart Ash. I forget what actually he's called. Uh, if I value stop. Sorry. Ash back there. Uh, definitely went might get some more. Evil Dead figures. So now the Necco Wall, we have some God of War, some Heroes of the Storm, uh, Planet of the Apes. Coming down here, this is actually really cool looking Freddy. Uh, Comic Con exclusive. Got a black and white look. We have an Alien vs. Predator 2 pack. That looks really nice. I still really like this clear Predator. Every time I come in, I really like that one. Uh, got Duke, or Dutch, sorry. Uh, got a Quentin Tarantino from Grindhouse, Planet Terror. Inch Gaiden, Street Fighter, sorry. Yeah, here, we got some kick ass figures Godzilla, Godzilla, Clash of Titans, Gears of War, Terminator, some Gremlins, got this ET figure, uh, Hellraiser. So, yeah, quite a bit as far as the NECA wall is concerned. So, in this case, we have some Migos right there that are really complete. 
some cool stuff in there. A ton of build a figures right now. All throughout here. A lizard. The Venom is actually pretty cool. But yeah, ton of build a figures. And we just got some carded stuff down here. So we got some more of the quarter scale. I actually really like that quarter scale Batman Begins figure. Um, that'd be kind of cool to have in the collection, to be honest. Uh, I like that suit. Uh, coming down here, we got some kind of like newer Mego type figures. Some Legends two packs. That's the Vulture Walgar or Walmart exclusive. Uh, some of the Avengers here. I got some Lego Night for Christmas. Kind of a mix of stuff right now. Uh, Batman is this back here. Some Street Fighter and Balanca. Oh, those are bootleg apparently. Uh, Super Fighter. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So we got some bootleg Street Fighter stuff. And then here we have a. Actually, don't know what this is. Let's take a look at him. Oh, it's actually pretty cool. Reminds me of kind of like the sideshow a little bit. Um, maybe not as detailed, but that's actually a really cool looking Batman. So here we just got some random sets of figures. And we have a couple Batman sets here. It's like three and three quarter figures, Alliance of Fear. Uh, so I have that Spider Man. Maybe that four pack, something like that. Uh, Got some of the more kind of animated style, three and three quarter figures. That clay face is pretty cool. All right, so coming over here to the Batman figures. This is actually, I think, new, uh, but I did pick these up at that Dayton show, um, so I don't need him. I have two of those. Coming back here, they do have the, uh, I guess, Iron Winch Batman. Um, that one looks pretty cool. I like the suit style of that one for 15. I do have the Robin. Uh, let's see, looks like some animated series and then Legends of Batman figures. Guy of Catwoman right there. Uh, let's see what returns figures we have back there. The Air Attack. Sounds like two Catwomans back there. Um, the one figure I'd really kind of like to pick up is this uh, Bruce Wayne from the Dark Knight Collection. I'm just not crazy about how beat up the uh, card is. It's actually like the clamshell is like actually. Uh, stapled to it so not crazy about that um, so I may try to find that somewhere else and there's that hydro charge and like I'm just not crazy about the uh, yellowing of the packaging on that one but uh, I think that's probably all the returns and 89 Kenner figures that I'm seeing so hopefully we'll find some more at the next stop so one of the things I actually really wanted to try to find today was some of the Kenner Batman vehicles, and we have the Batcopter right here. Hmm. So, clearly, boxes. <laughs> Seen better days, but I would definitely take this out of box anyway. Uh, I bought both those Bat Cycles uh, at the Dayton show, so the only other thing I'd be missing would be the Bat Jet. So, I'm thinking I might pick this up. Uh, they also have the uh, crossbow. Like kind of like Nerf gun, uh, that's really cool as well. That's 20. Um, yeah, that's what is this? Oh, we got the Batman blaster, that is awesome. So, that is like definitely the Nerf gun. <laughs> so, a ton of the uh, 89 stuff here. So, we're over here, kind of the random wall with all sorts of different stuff. Got some starting lineups way up there, got some mummies. Got some of the old Ken Robin Hood figures. In case you ever wanted just a toilet figure, real Ghostbusters. Apparently had the uh, fearsome flush. So that's definitely an interesting uh, pick up there. Got some Simpsons figures coming down here. Star Trek, Pirates of Dark Water. I love that cartoon as a kid. Uh, some Star Trek, Jurassic World, Jurassic the Lost World, Jurassic Park. Flintstones, down here, got some X-Files figures, um, Savage Mondo, oh, I remember having these as a kid, it's like little like micro machines with like different monsters and stuff all over the card, or all over the cars on top of them, those look really cool, uh, 
and Austin Powers Fears, Star Trek. All right, so this is kind of what I'm looking at. At least over here is the spawn stuff. So we have just the unmasked spawn. So I knock stuff over. So we have unmasked spawn. Uh, there's a forget who that is. Uh, tremor. And then we have a clown back there. Uh, overkill. Got a violator and package back there. And then, and then another unmasked uh, spawn back there. So got a, some of the Dark Age spawn figures. And we got Angela right here. Some more monsters. All right. So I think I just found the greatest thing I've ever seen in this store and we have the Spice Girls doll set that looks like it was a Kmart exclusive so we have I don't even know I think that is that Scary Spice oh they even come with like their own little Barbie doll so uh, if you're looking for Spice Girls figures there you go all right, so I know nothing about Transformers, but I'm going to show you these cases just to show you what they have. But, yeah, I can't actually walk you through what any of this stuff is other than what's on the tag. But this is everything that they had in their Transformer case. I know Optimus. So I know him. That's about it. <laughs> and some bigger it's like Voltron and other things down here at the bottom. And this is the uh, second Transformer case that they have. This one, at least to me, looks more like a vintage type case. Uh, but like I said, I don't really know Transformers, so these could be brand new. <laughs> You're not going to have a Walmart table, you're not going to have a flea market table. Like, that's going to be, you know it's going to be good dealers. And then, like, what can we do on the other side to, like, craft and experience? And... Alright, so, real quick, show you guys just some of the classic turtles that they have. Uh, it's like Leonardo, quite a few of those, Michelangelo's, Monatello, Bebop, Frank. I guess that's Bebop, that's Rocksteady, sorry. I don't know my turtles all that well. That's Lord of the Rings. Hey, look, it's one of the movie turtles. Yeah. Are you going to get these slap shots? I should, uh, no, I, I know how, how fitting is that? It's one of my favorite movies. I show them every time. But, uh, yeah, so I should buy this and sell it for like $300 online. <laughs> that's what you do, right? Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a movie turtle. That's what everybody wants. They were made this way? I'm kidding. Just so, I'm kidding. Like Apparently Billy's not going to get out of the car. But we are done <laughs> at Toy Department and we're going to grab some lunch here at Rooster's. Come on, Coach! Uh, How was the game Friday? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Billy is doing his best impersonation of Urban Meyer. Uh, so, where's the heart attack? Let's go. Where's the heart attack? Not cool. <laughs> Low blow. <laughs> Now it's recording. Oh, now it's recording. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, it says the time right there. Good job. I just took a pee pee from my way way. The pee pee in my way way. Pee pee on my way way. <laughs> so, sorry about the live stream. I don't know why my phone like just would not connect so I couldn't get the live stream so there's like eight of them and they're like 30 seconds long but we ended up doing it on Josh's so thanks everybody who joined that. Everybody's doing their intros at once. I'm gonna kind of walk away. But as you can see we are at, uh, we are at can't talk at House of Plastics. So this is a shop uh, just outside Cincinnati, and there's a lot of people talking like right now, <laughs> as you can see behind me. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna go in and see what they have. It's the first time ever here, so hopefully they have some cool stuff. All right, so as soon as you walk in, what we have up here is some loose figures and all sorts of bins. So up here, all sorts of different Marvel, DC, Turtles. It's like some wrestling figures all throughout here. Some three and three quarter Star Wars figures. Uh, yeah, some really cool new stuff. As we come over here, we have a ton of cases just filled with all sorts of figures. So we got a ton of My Little Pony. Come down here with some of the vintage. Uh, well, I don't know if it'd be vintage by our <laughs> the standards. Ghostbuster three and three quarter figures all throughout here. Got some Simpsons. Some Pops, some Thundercats, Power Rangers, 
come down here. So we got some GI Joes. So we got Optimus Prime back there. Some Nintendo figures and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Come down here. Got some more vintage Transformers, Hot Wheels. So quite a bit of stuff. All right. So over here we have a kind of DC Marvel case. So quite a few open loose legends and DC figures. Some really cool stuff in here as well. Actually, some pretty good prices on a lot of these. Shocker for ten dollars. Captain America. 10, black suit, 10. Really nice stuff in here. You got some Jurassic Park shelf. So you got some of the original figures down there. Some original dinosaurs. So in this oh, case, yeah. we actually have a ton of loose legends. Does he really? A couple build of figures and everything back there. More legends up here. Legends up here. Some superpower figures. Over here we have a ton of Simpsons figures all on this shelf right here. So there's one shelf right there. We have a second shelf down here, just as full with all sorts of cool like dioramas and stuff uh, for the Simpsons figures. And actually, there's even more dioramas down here. Those are pretty cool. So coming over here, we have a ton of pops, some little mini figures, some more pops. It's like quite a few different uh, exclusives and things of that nature over here. And then over here, we have some board games, looks like some of the Elite Force weapons, some Lord of the Rings figures, some of the McFarlane sport figures. Uh, Ghostbusters, Crimson Skies, uh, some Superman, Assassin's Creed Blade, E.T. So, coming over here we have the Legends wall, so all sorts of Legends, priced anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks it looks like. So, some nice stuff over here. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys some uh, pre-Hot Toys I found. Especially this one. So it's this Toy Biz Falcon. But look at this thing. It legit looks like something Rob Liefeld put on. Huh? Look at uh, <laughs> sorta. I mean, the one foot is kind of like really like kind of crammed up in there. It really does. I mean, but it's got like look at this. It's got like the little uh, chicken like feet. Oh, that's awful. I just love that chest. Look at that thing. So there's Falcon. He's got like a 12 pack. And then here is the Rob Liefeld Toy Biz cap. So you open up this guy. And look at that star. That thing is crazy. I thought these were really cool too. So you got this Punisher Masterpiece series. Uh, nice kind of poseable figure with actual soft goods and everything. That looks really cool. There's also a... Oh, so I knock everything over again. Uh, interesting looking Sandman with his like mace fists. Yeah, that looks really good as well. That's a interesting figure. I've never seen these before. Coming over here we have the Super 7 uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man. Got the Hellboy. That's actually kind of a cool little figure. Toxic Avenger. That looks pretty cool. I uh, got a Mad Magazine, Green Lantern, Flash. Uh, Commissioner Gordon and Nightwing, Batman. That's kind of a cool little figure. Uh, got Shazam. Uh, Ms. Marvel. Got a really cool Army of Darkness uh, figure right there. That looks really, really cool. Evil Lash. Uh, that thing looks amazing. Let's see. Uh, Escape from L.A. So Kurt Russell's character, that's a pretty cool looking figure from McFarlane. Got a Freddy back here. Uh, come over here, some more horror stuff. So you have some of the Twisted Land of Oz. You have Dorothy. You got the Jigsaw Killer from Saul. Some more Army of Darkness. That's the same one. Evil Ash that's up there. Let's see, that's a Psycho Norman Bates. Got a House of a Thousand Corpses. Captain Spaulding. Got Planet Terror. Okay. Some really cool stuff over here. Artist Bond. That's awesome. And then we also have another Artist Bond. And it's basically like Spawn jumping on the cover with that massive cape. 
this is really cool. I just found this, so I don't know if you guys know, Axe Cop is an old comic uh, that's hysterically funny, but uh, they had, I guess Mezco actually made figures of Axe Cop. So you have Axe Cop, you have Dr. Doodoo, which is what this one is. So just basically a giant angry turd. And then you have Avoca Avocado Soldier with his little unicorn horn. Uh, I love this comic book. I had no idea they had figures. All right, so I just found this. So this is the Legends of Batman. So this was like the Kenner, one of Kenner's uh, lines. And this is actually like a 12 inch Batman and Catwoman figure. Let's see if I can actually open this up. This thing looks really kind of cool. Like actual like stitched clothing and everything like that. Uh, yeah, that's a really cool looking set. Like the uh, Catwoman there in purple. Really freaking cool. Alright, so over here we have a bunch of Transformers once again. I'm not super familiar with them, so I really don't know what exactly I'm looking at, but I thought I'd show it to you. Over here are some Aliens figures, some Micro Machine Star Wars. Uh, coming over here, a uh, ton wrestling figures. Uh, some like littler figures. I think I actually had some of these type as a kid. Ultimate Warrior and things like that, but there's some stuff down there. And then coming over here, it looks like they have a NECA kind of shelf. So we have Freddy's, Iron Maiden, we have a Kratos, uh, it's like Mar or, uh, Bruce, sorry, I can't remember Bruce Willis' character from Sin City, but a nice like uh, statue of him. We have a Hellboy, Hellboy three-piece set that looks really cool. Sick uh, ceramic bank Hellboy come down here, Sleepy Hollow, that's McFarlane, that looks really nice. This thing looks amazing, so we have quarter inch, or quarter inch, quarter scale NECA uh, Batman 1989. Uh, that looks really, really cool. So over here we have a lot of Lego sets. Down here we have a ton of the little beef figs. All sorts of different prices on those. Same on the shelf, so you got a ton more. Coming over here, you have a crap ton of My Little Pony. So if you're looking for My Little Pony, definitely give House of Plastic a look. Down here has some G.I. Joe's. G.I. <laughs> Joe vehicles in this case. Some more G.I. Joe loose figures. Yeah, so we're this is gonna be So Billy just told us the next the next big thing in hunting, TGI Fridays. <laughs> frozen jalapeno poppers. Don't don't get it twisted. Potato skins, uh uh, bacon, no, no so, pork. So that's no the next big either. thing. Frozen food hunting with toy bills. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're really good. I'm a connoisseur when it comes to this. Jack, Jack, this is the old Jack Josh. He's yeah, you guys have you guys haven't met Jim Josh yet. Jim Josh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Josh. Cincy, do you want to try to buy this in there? Yeah, yeah I do. What are oh they my. doing? What are they doing? Honk your horn. Hey! Oh, they're no. definitely crackheads. Yeah. He He's probably got a syringe that's going to throw at you. Yeah, she looked like she used to be high. I hope Kyle's recording all of this. I actually am. <laughs> but, but, He's getting all the worst audio. <laughs> I like, I am filming this, but I like, I didn't want her because I don't, I mean, they look like they were strung out of their minds. Oh, yeah, they were. So I didn't, I didn't want, so I put it down just so. You still but we, got the audio though, dude. Oh yes, we still got the audio and we definitely had some crackheads. Uh, oh yeah, I want to take a bite. Yeah, I, I only <laughs> crack, I did not breathe on it. Sweet. I promise. How big of a bite can I take? As big as you want, dude. So no, I wasn't the saying. whole, the it, whole thing. Good, so. Hopefully you like it, hopefully I didn't like hype it. <laughs> so we just moved the car. We were, so we stopped at the gas station to get beers for this evening. And so we were on the front side of the building. Now we moved over to their side. And <laughs> so, I yeah. made it. I thought you guys were going to be extra troll and be like out with the light. <laughs> like that would have been awesome. <laughs> you always get stuck behind someone buying gottery tickets. All right, as you can tell, I am back from House of Plastic. That was such an amazingly fun trip. I hope you guys enjoyed all the footage. I did pick up some stuff at House of Plastic that I cannot wait to show to you. But first, I want to give them a huge shout out. The store was fantastic. A huge eclectic mix of all sorts of things. A ton of vintage, a ton of newer stuff. They didn't really like have brand, brand new stuff a whole lot. They did have some legends and things, but a lot of it was, you know, 
late 80s, 90s. I mean, they had a mix of everything. And it was just a fantastic store. And the owner was awesome. Like, we literally spent, I think we got there like around, I don't know, 3. And we didn't even leave until like 5.30. I mean, we were there for a really long time just talking. And the knowledge that they had between the vintage G.I. Joes and all these like crazy, like, I don't know, indie lines of toys that they were showing us was just amazing. So they know their toys. They have an awesome selection. Definitely check it out. I'm going to have a link in the description below to their Facebook page. So that way you can kind of see some of the posts and things that the toys and stuff that they're getting in. Uh, but definitely check them out because it was an awesome store and I can't thank them enough. All right. So now's the time to actually show you what I picked up and I cannot wait because I did pick up some really cool stuff. So first thing I picked up is an addition to my new Mezco horror line. And I did get the two pack from Dawn of the Dead. So this is the Flyboy and plaid shirt zombie two pack. And this is actually a trade of sorts with Cincy. Uh, I had something that he definitely wanted, and I know he showed it off in his live stream, and I'm sure he'll show it off again in another video, so I'm going to let him do that. I know he was really excited, and I really wanted these, so he was awesome enough. He went down to Comics and Games and actually picked this up for me uh, as part of kind of like a buy trade type thing. So uh, thank you so much, Cincy, uh, for the trade. I I'm beyond over the moon for these figures. I actually unboxed these on a live stream last night, so if you guys saw that, you'll see them again here in a second. I'll also do a full review, but... Yeah, picked up the Mezco Down the Dead Zombies uh, from House of Plastic. I didn't pick anything up at the toy department, uh, but House of Plastic, I did pick up the zo the, uh, the zombie, no, the Spawn figure that you guys saw in the footage. So this is the cover of Spawn, uh, cover 43, the Art of Spawn line. I'm actually going to open this up here in a second. I'll show you a closer look. And then the next figure I did buy was the Art of Spawn clown figure. Same thing. I'm going to open this up here in a second. And House of Plastic was awesome. I think they had 15 on this one and 30 on the Spawn. They gave them both to me for 35 bucks. Uh, so... Awesome deal there, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and open these guys up, and I'll show you a closer look. All right, and here are the Dawn of the Dead zombies, the Flyboy zombie, and the plaid shirt zombie out of the box. And these things look amazing. I love the detailing on them, as you can see there with the plaid suit zombie. Uh, a ton of amazing detail, and same with Flyboy. That thing looks really freaking creepy. You do get the little gun there on his finger. Uh, these things look amazing. I will be doing a full review under the light box and everything with these guys, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, so this is the Art of Spawn figure that I did pick up, and this thing is insane. As you can see there, the just cape keeps going and going. Uh, real chains there all throughout him. This thing is unbelievable. And then this is the Clown Art of Spawn figure I picked up. And once again, that thing looks amazing too. Ton of detail there in the face. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It does come with a little standee showing you the art cover uh, that this figure is based on. Uh, that looks really, really cool. All right, so that was the close-up of everything that I got for this trip. Like I said throughout this entire video, this trip was an absolute blast. Awesome stores, awesome pickups. Uh, so sorry that the video was so long, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This was a ton of fun to edit and put together and everything like that, so I hope you guys really liked it. With that being said, I want to thank you guys for checking out these videos. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys are watching them. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do think that's going to be it for me this evening, so I will catch you guys later. See ya.